Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So, today I'm gonna be doing a reading on our queen, Selena Gomez. Um, I was not supposed to do a video today, but I was on Instagram and I saw that Selena posted a new picture of her. Um, she was in a swimsuit and she was looking the best. She was looking her best. She was so beautiful. Like, she was gorgeous, okay? And that was such a strong message behind that picture, okay? It was not a simple picture of Selena, okay? It was Selena showing her scars, which I found really powerful and empowering, okay, from her. Um, I mean, showing your scars is a really, like, brave thing to do, you know? She she was really brave. She was really courageous. This needs a lot of courage, you know what I mean? So I'm really proud of her that she did that. And, like, I found that was... That was such a huge, like, thing to do, okay? That was so brave from her. That was so courageous. So I wanted to do a reading on that, okay? To see how Selena has, like, how Selena is currently, like, how is she mentally, okay? I wanted to know how she feels about herself. How, ooh, okay, ooh, 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 oh my god, I didn't see that. Ten of Swords, yes. This was her at a moment, okay, after her kidney transplant. Like, she didn't feel great at all. Oh my god, what what are those bad cards? Anyways, so she, she didn't feel super great with her body. She was not confident anymore because because of her scars, okay? But let me ch let me tune into that, okay? I'm really curious about that. Um, And I love, like, I'm such, like, I'm not gonna say impressed, but I'm such admirative of what Selena did, like, you know, this needs a lot of courage to do that. Anyways, so I'm really excited to be here. I'm really curious about that. I really want to know how Selena feels about her body. Is she confident? Um, does she have self confidence? So let's just see. Um, I'm sorry if it's I'm sorry if it's pretty dark. Um, it's currently eight p.m. in my house. I mean, you know, I live in Europe. I'm not. I don't live in the United States, so there's a delay. You're probably watching this video in the morning. So okay, let me just shuffle the cards a little and see what spirit want to tell me. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Selena Mary Gomez. Selena. Gomez. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Can you guys tell me how Selena feels about her body? How she feels? Is she confident? Does she have self-confidence? Okay, what are those cards? Okay, ooh, the tower. Okay, interesting. Let me just see what's that. Ooh, wow. I do feel like that's... So here we have the Emperor, which is a really strong card. Okay, this means that you are untouchable okay this means that you are really strong that you can't be affected by what someone says about you you know and i do feel like that selena like a few years ago after her kidney transplant she was really she was feeling really bad about her body and she was really affected by what people were saying about her okay she didn't feel great at all but now she just She's just confident again, okay? She just feels great. She feels beautiful, you know? She feels rare. Wow, okay. <laughs> I love Selena. This is insane. Um, she, she feels rare, okay? She feels beautiful. So she is strong. And, like, nothing can affect her anymore. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is what this card means. And this is why we got the tower card, okay? This means that Selena is just, like confident again she is just herself again wow the devil yes because she was in a really toxic relationship with herself okay she was like in a really toxic place at a moment um so this is why we got this card the devil card so let me just pull out four cards to see to have more details about that yes okay let me see selena gomez oh my god I don't know if you guys saw this picture, but I will probably put it, like, in the thumbnail. But, like, she's looking so good, you guys. Like, <sighs> Selena's so beautiful. Anyways, let me see. Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Selena. Okay, I can't shuffle the cards, that's insane. Selena Gomez, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit, thank you, spirit. Selena Mary Gomez, Selena Gomez. Okay, one, two... Three and four. Okay, let's see what spirit wants to tell us. Hmm. 
Interesting. Yes, you got. Wow. Mm. Wow, this is really interesting, you guys. So he will have the Knight of Swords, which isn't a great card at all. You guys can see that. I do feel like that Selena, even though we didn't see it, felt really bad. Okay, this was at the moment where she was not on the social medias, when she was not posting anything on Instagram. You know, like she was not on the social medias at all, okay? At this period of time, she didn't feel great at all. And we didn't see it, okay? I do feel like that, you know, we always think that celebrities, um, stars are always happy that they are that they have a perfect life so they can't be sad and stuff. What we forget sometimes is that they are humans. You know, we forget that they are humans too. And they can feel emotions that, like, they can have an amazing villa. They can have, like, 10 cars, 10 Lamborghinis, and, like, have so much money that they can buy an island for them. But this doesn't mean that they are really happy you know and i do feel like this is what happened with selena this is why she kind of went away from the social medias because she didn't want to be affected by what people could say about her about her body about her appearance so this is why she just ran away okay she didn't want to feel bad she didn't want to feel sad so this is why she was not posting anything at that period of time okay at that moment because she didn't even like you know you can't love someone if this person doesn't love herself okay we all agree on that so i feel like then selena kind of needed to love herself again to be back on the social medias and i do feel like this is why we see like this is why she's so like active and so present on the social medias at the moment because she found her confidence again you know and this is why she posts all this pictures all this videos about her because she refound her confidence again wow this is this is amazing, you guys. This is really amazing. Eight, like, you know, Seven of Cups is a really... Like, this card basically talks about being delusional. And sometimes you think that... Like, when you are, when you are looking in the, at the mirror, in the mirror, you're just like... You know, some people, like, can't look at themselves in the mirror because they feel ugly. They feel, like, not beautiful. But let me tell you something. Selena, Selena said that on her... Like, how do you call that? In her picture, in the comments, she said, every single body is beautiful in her own way, you know? And I do think this is like a, like a mentality that we should that we should all have, you know? Every single body is beautiful. And I do feel like that Selena didn't realize it. Like people, of course, like, I, I, I really, like, I'm sure that a lot of people can't understand that Selena could feel ugly because, of course, she's so gorgeous. She, she has an amazing body. But, you know, we are not, we were not in Selena's head. You know, we couldn't know what she was feeling. We were not in her head. We didn't know what she was, how she was feeling about herself. So we can't judge her, okay? But I do know that, like, I, I'm sure that people were like her friends, her family were telling her that she was beautiful and that she was like gorgeous, but she didn't believe in that, okay? This is why we got the delusional card because you can't believe anyone. You just believe what your, this voice inside you had that says you are ugly, okay? Um, but Selena has moved from that, okay? Selena feels good again, okay? Let's say positive. So let's see what Farrah wants to tell me. I don't worry. Mm, and maybe that was someone that made her change her mind, okay? Maybe someone just, like, a man told her that she was beautiful. And she just, like, started believing it. Okay, let me see what, what Spirit are trying to tell me. By the way, I hope that you are all doing great. That you are all happy in your life. Um, and everything is great for you. I just send you positive vibes from Europe, okay? Let me just <laughs> shuffle the cards real quick. Okay, Selena Gomez. Okay, well, one card here. Two, third and fourth. Okay, let's see. King of War. <laughs> you guys know what, who, who, what this card represents, okay? You guys know who this card represents. The Judgment card. Wow. Hmm. 
God damn it, this is insane. Look at that. So, okay. I didn't even think about that. But, of course, it's obvious. He would have the King of Swords, which is basically Justin. Okay, we all know that. He is a Libra Moon. The King of Swords represents Air Sign. So, this is him. Okay. When Justin broke up, I don't know who broke up. I don't know if it was Selena or Justin. I don't remember. But when they got separated, when they were not together anymore, Selena felt really bad. Okay, she felt ugly and when she like like when she knew that justin got engaged with Haley, that she that he was with Haley, like this is at that moment at that per particular moment that she lost all of her self-confidence wow this is insane you guys so here we have the four of wands which basically represents Haley and justin when they first got engaged when they first got together at that particular moment, Selena was just like, damn, Justin, I gave you another try. I gave you another chance. Uh, and you just, like, replaced me with another woman, like, just two months after. And, like, the, at this particular moment, she, she just felt like nothing. She felt like shit. Okay, let me use the right word. She felt like shit. She felt like she was nothing at all. That She felt like she was ugly. And at that particular moment, she lost all of her confidence. Wow, and I don't know if you guys remember, I just, like, this just got to my mind. You know, in her Love You Like, uh, I was gonna say Love You Like a Love song, not at all. Lo in her Lose You to Love Me song, at, like, the second part of the song, she said something like, um, wait, let me find it. In some months you replaced us, like it was easy, made me think I deserved it. In the thick of healing, in the thick of healing, okay? So this is like what the song says and what the cards are saying that she was trying to heal herself that she was trying to love herself again but then Justin got with like was 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 with Haley and at that moment Selena felt like nothing okay wow interesting and five of wands basically talks about argument battle fighting and i do feel like that Selena was fighting with herself she had this inner conflict into herself she had this conflict with her mind with you know with her perspective of, of herself with her vision of herself you know we all had that sometimes we don't feel confident and we just like fight with ourselves okay there's two voices in inside of one inside of us that just say one one's telling you you're beautiful and the other one says that you're ugly you know what i mean so i don't feel like that selena was fighting with herself but i don't know how the judgment card just appeared i don't know how but she like something kind of made her like feel beautiful again i'm wondering if, if someone if she met someone or like did a man told tell her that but Something kind of like triggered her, kind of made her notice that she was beautiful, you know. Interesting, you guys. Wow, this is this reading is really intense, okay. Um, I didn't really think about how Selena could feel about her body, okay. Yes, but now she feels she's feeling great, okay. She's feeling confident again, she's feeling beautiful, she's feeling rare. Hmm. Maybe it was her mom, okay? Her mom, I think that her mom just, like, made her realize that she was beautiful. Okay, let me see. Anything else, Pierre, that you want to tell us about Selena Mary Gomez? Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, let me see you. Page of Wands, not really. Okay, yes, it was a lot to take in, okay. Mmm, damn, this... <sighs> Yes, page of cups. <laughs> this is Justin. Justin really effed Selena's uh, Selena up. Okay, he really like mm, again. Those two cards represent him. Four of Wands again. Yes, while he was like happy and he was like kissing and doing like whatever he was doing with Haley and being happy, Selena was suffering. Selena was like. Almost like it was she was dead. She was suffering. She was near death. Okay, while she was happy, while he was what happy with Haley. Okay, he didn't even think about Selena because her his healing was was Haley. But 
what was the healing of Selena? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like she was near death while he was happy, while he was celeb celebrating, while he was getting married with this girl, okay? She was just suffering. She was just feeling bad. She was hurt. She was abandoned. She felt like nothing. She felt like shit. She felt like she was ugly, you know? Wow. She, this is, oh my God, look at that. This is her struggling with herself. This is her in depression. This is her feeling bad. This is her wanting to run away from social medias. Yes, look at that. Look at those two cards. Yeah, this is her being delusional, not loving herself anymore. Wow, look at that. Look at those cards, you guys. This is insane. This is her being like having anxiety, feeling ugly, and she was just praying, okay? She was praying to God and but she won't yeah, and she ran away. But somehow she refound her strength by working, okay? Of, of course, she did th therapy. I know that she went to a mental hospital. This obviously have has helped her, okay? Um, and she really worked on that, on her confidence. And she really worked, like she learned a lot about herself. And she knew what she was worth. She knew that she was worthy, that she was beautiful. And yeah, okay, well, mm. Yeah, this is really interesting, guys. This reading was amazing, okay? It was really intense, really... Really intense, okay? Let me just put the cards here. Anyways, this is all in this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, okay, right now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for because I have so many views, but nobody's subscribing, okay? So if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe. That will make me so happy and that will be so useful. Anyways, this is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time for a new video. Bye.